Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome for the first time. Today we're going to be talking about what I think are the best things about life in Czech Republic. The first thing is that it's right in the center of Europe and so that makes it a very easy place to make your hub and home if you want to go and travel around to different parts of Europe. The Prague airport is pretty well connected it's home to most of the budget airlines, including EasyJet, Smartwings, Ryanair, Wizz Air, probably a few others that I've forgotten. And so being home to those budget airlines means it's really easy to just go to Paris or London or Milan for a weekend on a budget. Yes, they're budget airlines, you get budget prices, you also get budget services. But that's not the point. The point is Prague is pretty well connected for if you want to travel to other destinations. There's also options for taking trains, such as to Berlin or to Budapest or Bratislava. You can also get trains down to Austria if you want to go explore in the Alps. The Czech Republic itself is also really well connected in terms of the trains and bus systems that they have within the country. So even if you're traveling to like a smaller destination for a weekend trip within the country, you can do it on public transport and it's pretty well connected even during the weekends. The second thing is that until recently, the cost of living in the Czech Republic was quite reasonable. Housing, food costs, transportation, you know, going out to restaurants or different events were all reasonably priced and affordable compared to some places like Paris or Milan or Berlin and London. But we do know that the price of everything here in 2023 is kind of going up. I think many of us would agree that it doesn't have to be that way, but here we are. So overall, I still think Prague is quite affordable, even though prices are going up. Within the country itself, it was even more affordable. So living in Brno was quite cheap. Living in Ostrava was also even better. Um, I'm sure prices are going up there as well, but overall I still think that things are generally quite affordable on a typical expat salary compared to other places around Europe. The third thing is that the weather in the summer is nice and warm and sunny. It's not so hot that it's unbearable without air conditioning, although air conditioning tends to be creeping into more restaurants and personal homes than in the past. We generally only have about a week or two where temperatures get up to like 30 degrees Celsius and then everybody complains that it's hot. It's not unbearable, but it is hot within the city because the cement tends to hold the heat. However, in the evenings during the summertime, it's really nice to go out with friends to beer gardens or go have picnics in the park, things like that. There's lots of activities to do around the country in the mountains or bike trips. There's lots of little lakes and spaces around for camping. So the summers in Czech Republic are generally quite enjoyable. I also find that we don't tend to have mosquitoes here. There are little pockets of them, but the city in general, we didn't have them in Brno, we didn't have them in Ostrava, we don't really have them in Prague. So summer without mosquitoes is absolutely fantastic. The winters, on the other hand, are horrible. It's cloudy and dark 90% of the time. There is no excuse for that. We don't live that far north. It's cold, but not cold enough for snow. It's just dark and gloomy and unpleasant. The fourth thing is that the nature and greenery spaces around the country are absolutely fantastic. There are so many big like national parks, the Kirkonoshe Mountains, Shumava National Park, Beskidi Mountains, Bohemian Switzerland, so many natural, naturey outdoor spaces where you can kind of just go, take a walk in the forest or climb up a mountain and just kind of have that natural reset of your immune system and your nervous system to just kind of calm down and get away from the city life. But then even within the cities, we have quite nice parks. In Prague alone, we have Letna, Rigrovi Sadi, 
Grebovka, Stromovka, so many more all around the city of Prague. But it's not just Prague that has nice parks, right? We have nice parks in Brno, we have nice parks in Ostrava, Komenske, Osady, then there's even a Stromovka park in Cieskie Budjovice. So the cities themselves are set up in a way where we have lots of greenery spaces. There are many like small squares near churches, for example in Karlin here in Prague where they have a, a small park set up for people to go out during their lunch breaks in the summertime and enjoy their, their lunch outside. In many of the smaller towns, if you go away for a weekend to some of these more naturey national park kind of areas, the small towns usually are full of pensions or hatas where you can stay. The restaurants there also serve the most delicious local foods and the overall experience of enjoying the nature life within Czech Republic is quite fantastic. It's like the smaller, less organized, less clean, less efficient version of Switzerland. Number five is quite controversial. It's the food. I'm not talking about the food that you get at the grocery store. We all know we get Germany's reject vegetables, although things have improved over the last three to five years. I'm talking about the Czech traditional dishes the goulash, the svičkova, the segedenski goulash, the smaženi sir, the, the schnitzel, the, what is it, the žizek, the dumplings with the fruit inside, and the butičky. Oh my gosh, I love butičky. We would have butičky for lunch when I was at work sometimes, and people would be like, what is this sweet breakfast? Why are we doing this? I love it. Butičky is my favorite, favorite, favorite. But anyways, maybe it's like my Hungarian background that just loves the meat and dumplings or meat and potato type dishes. They, they're like comfort foods for me. Number six is that the expat community is huge. This could also be a little bit controversial because there are pros and cons to this. The expat community in Prague, of course, is massive. There are so many different groups and different types of people with different interests and personalities, you are sure to find somebody that you will be able to meet and get along with and make friends with. But there are also lots of expat communities around the country in even the smaller cities. Um, I know that there's quite a big group in Brno, there's a big group in Ostrava, and probably in Liberets and Pilsen and everywhere else. You just simply have to go on to Facebook and they usually have a group or two or three or 50 to find some people and they usually host different events where they have meetups and so you can kind of go there, meet some people, make some new friends. Not just from English speaking countries either. There are people from all over the world living all throughout the Czech Republic and it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to make friends with the local Czech people. You definitely should do that. All right, everyone, so those are some things I find great about living in Czech Republic. If you've been here before or are living here now and you think there are some other things that are great that maybe I didn't touch on in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, bye.